Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy D-Rock and I am back with another Omnibus overview. Today we got The Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus by David Michelini and Todd McFarland. It had an 856 page count and the original cover price was $99.99. Let's get into it. Before we hop into this Omnibus overview, Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button and stay tuned after the video to see how you can win a 110 scale Colossus statue from Iron Studios. Now taking a look at this book, you got the original spine. This is the first print. There is the new printing set to come out on August 4th. This is the standard edition cover. They were supposed to have the 300 cover, but apparently they're not making that anymore. So it's just going to be this the standard and then the other DM variant cover will be the black suit, just like the original uh, printings. And just as you slide off the dust jacket, you got that classic looking omnibus style, the leathery look with the silver writing, amazing Spider-Man logo on the front. Always did love this classic omnibus design. Second printing and the newest printing will have the wraparound cover, which will have the dust jacket uh, covers both on each side. So you'll get the standard edition on the front and then you'll get the DM variant on the back wraparound cover style. Now opening up the book, you got your table of contents, which is always great. And hopping right into it, man. You get all this just tremendous Todd McFarlane and Michelini. Just goodness, man. This is just some of the most classic Spider-Man stories and stuff that really just during my childhood, this was the go-to right here. And you can't go wrong with the black suit Spidey man. He just looks awesome. I know Sideshow is going to be releasing a uh, black suit Spidey statue soon, which I'm definitely going to have to pick up. But man, this is a, definitely a great omnibus. The newer printing will, will have some slight changes to the book. The pages are definitely thinner. It'll have the same page count. But some of the more notable differences will be the spine. The spine has more of the uh, Amazing Spider-Man logo, which this just has the basic font, which I'm not really a fan of just because all the other books kind of go together and it looks better on the shelf. And I'm real anal about that kind of thing. But And you also don't get the uh, Spider-Man vs. Venom on the spine either, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. But And then there you go. You got the uh, Spider-Man 300, which... Apparently was supposed to be a DM variant uh, cover, but for whatever reason, they did away with it and just went with the original standard in DMs, which is kind of unfortunate because I would probably pick that up and get rid of this first printing if they actually did that. But unfortunately, that's not the case. But, you know, this is a highly sought after book right now. You got to love that Todd McFarlane, the way he drive, draws the webbing of uh, Spider-Man like nobody else does it like him. But um, you get the original Venom storylines, man. And you get the Venom versus Black Suit Spider-Man. Venom's got the symbiote suit on. And your boy Peter Parker's just rocking the regular black suit. So you get the origin and all that of Venom, which is just, you know, like I said, it's highly sought after right now. It's a huge, The cover on that book is amazing, man. It's one of my favorites. But with Venom coming out soon... All these books are just going up like crazy. Anything that has to do with Venom and Carnage. I mean, all these books always basically are highly sought after because Venom is just such a unique and awesome character. You gotta love it. And there you got that white cover there. Spider-Man goes back to his original red and blue suit in 301. And man, this book just, it, it contains so many good stories. There's so many characters in here. Just the artwork is absolutely phenomenal. You gotta love the Todd McFarlane style. He just did things with Spider-Man that was never done before. Changed the way he looked slightly that just made him look way more awesome. Gotta love just the way he drew his motions. His motions are absolutely incredible in these books, man. Like, just the way he's hopping around, like, up there. And, man, just gotta love that Todd McFarlane style. It just reeks of it throughout the pages. You could definitely see, like, inspiration for his Spawn stuff. Prowler there. Prowler's cape. This is where he like starts throwing capes all damn badass and wavy and crazy. Mary Jane in the swimsuit, y'all. Yeah. Oh, shit. Now, this book is jam-packed with a bunch of just classic issues. It's collected 
Amazing Spider-Man 296 through 329. So this thing is just full of great stuff. All that McFarlane, Michelini goodness. Gotta love those great Spider-Man poses right there. Nothing like it. McFarlane is just the GOAT, in my opinion. You get appearances from great enemies in these pages. Some classic Spidey villains like Mysterio, Scorpion. Then you get some new people in here like Taskmaster, which is super hot right now because of the uh, Black Widow movie, which I still haven't seen yet because I don't know if I want to. But uh, you get some Sabretooth in here, Magneto, some Sentinel action. Man, just a bunch of just classic old school characters and done by McFarlane. There's Taskmaster right here just looking super badass man man i wish they would have had him look like this in the damn black widow movie i don't know why they made him look like that motorcycle whatever the hell going on man good god they ruined it but just uh great villains and then you get some appearances by also some some good guys man peter parker's boo thing mary jane of course and then you get some black cat some captain america the hulk so this book is just jam-packed with just all kinds of great characters. And you just gotta love the artwork throughout it. Great Mysterio cover here. Some absolutely just top-of-the-line covers throughout this book, too. Just such iconic stuff. Gotta love the way that Mysterio looks in here. Man, that, that panel there is just super good looking thing looking then you got the hobgoblin and green goblin man which man the way he draws hobgoblin is just absolutely awesome the crazy cape of course in true mcfarlane style just looking mad evil green goblin of course looking great then you got the lizard love that cover too this is definitely if you're a fan of McFarlane artwork in the early days this is definitely a book to pick up I guarantee once this thing comes out it's gonna sell out super fast so this is definitely a book that if you don't have already hopefully you got on pre-order or hopefully you got a good spot to pick it up once it comes out on August 4th hopefully it comes out on August 4th there has uh, been a lot of dates pushed back lately on uh, omnibus releases so who knows black cat there gotta love this evil as eddie brock venom let's skip on through towards the back of the book so we can check out some of the bonus material real quick here you get to the back of the book where all the bonus material is kept we got some mcfarlane artwork and then you got a bunch of these marvel tales covers from mcfarlane just tremendous artwork here where he does some some stuff with the x-men which is just great to see mcfarlane drawing x-men characters just so badass man of course wolverine's got those damn pointy ears or whatever you want to call it cowl beast then you got eric larson on this side drawing spider-man in the red and blue suit then you got your boy todd mcfarlane on the other side in the black suit some great venom stuff Definitely some cool bonus features in the back of this book. The Spider-Man vs. Venom artwork here, which is also located on the spine of the original printing. Some character designs. And then you got a page with just the uh, standard and DM cover on there. So great book, man. Thanks for watching. Make sure you get yourself entered in the giveaway. We are on that road to 500 subscribers and we got another giveaway going on. Once we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to be giving away that 1 10th scale Iron Studios Colossus. To get yourself entered in that giveaway, all you got to be is subscribe to the channel, like a video where I mentioned this giveaway, and comment on the video. You also need to be located in the United States. Once we hit 500 subs, I'll do a random comment generator and pick the winner. So stay tuned for that. Good luck. Share the video. Get it out there. Let's get this milestone done and get on to the next one. Thanks for watching DRock Steady Reviews and good luck.